So let's start with uh, Zoom Lock Max. So this is our press to connect refrigerant fitting. So let's walk through how you would do a, a crimp, okay? okay? So here's our pipe. Pretend it's out in the field. Clean it up with some scotch Bright. It's really important that we're cleaning up our uh, pipes. The biggest thing with braze-free fittings is cleaning up that pipe because any sort of burr or scratch on the pipe could result in leaking. Do so, I use this thing yep, deburr the inside and the out. So that side's the inside. Flip it over to the outside. So once we make sure that we don't have any burrs and we don't have any fine lines on our pipe, then we're ready to do the depth gauge. So. We have one for each size line, so that one it goes, goes in, in there. there. Okay. And then you mark it, the pin. Boop, like that? Yep, that good? just like that. And okay. then you just slide on that fitting. Okay, like to the? To the line. And it'll actually kind of stop itself once it gets uh -huh. to that line, so you okay. can kind of feel gotcha. that. Yeah. Cool, cool. And then you just put it in here, and it lines up very similar to Pro Press right uh -huh. on that fitting, it's, or the O-ring itself. Mm -hmm. And then just press and hold the trigger, and it'll give out on its own. And just like that, you have a brace-free seal. So that is able to withstand 750 PSI. So nice. definitely going to cover what you're seeing out in the field. Um, approved for most of today's refrigerants. So definitely a great option, especially with A2Ls coming along. Having a braze-free option, can't go wrong with that. Yeah, yeah, especially I know, I know there are some places where, you, you know, you can't have torches right. or you have to Absolutely. pull a permit. Hospitals, that sort like of that. thing. Yeah, 100%. Then we also have Zoom Lock Push. So these are similar, yeah. but they don't require the actual tool itself. The prep work is all the same. Mm. We're gonna use the scotch Bright. we're gonna deburr, and then you just push it on. Now, does this come, like, where do you get these from? So those, um, there's a deburr that comes like in the kit itself. Gotcha. Um, so yeah, when you buy it. Yeah, yeah. So you said the prep is all the same for all the, the same for the like push. That. Yeah. So we have a removable option, which is this guy. It has like the plastic lip up there. Uh -huh. So same like Shark Fight. You can take a set of keys and remove it. Mm. So we don't recommend you'd reuse the fitting, but you can remove it. You don't have to cut the line every time. And then we have the optimized version, which you would have to cut out. Gotcha. So, but both are great options. Yeah, really good like tools for the tool belt, like yeah. you said, right? I mean, gosh, that would be nice just if you're making one simple yes. repair or something, exactly. right? You don't want to lug all those torches up. Yep. They're great for attics, closets, tight spaces. Mm -hmm. I mean, sometimes it's hard to get a tool in, let alone your whole brazing equipment. So that's really where Zoom Lock Push shines. We also have yeah, this guy awesome. here, which has the flare on one end oh. and the push on the other. So great okay. for many splits. 